The challenge in designing the thesis was to create an extremely complex object, because even though it has a wealth of features, it had to be extremely user-friendly. I think that this was the basic motivation that inspired everybody that worked here. The appearance of the Lancia Thesis' interior was fundamentally guided by the decision to adopt a simple approach. While we tried to achieve a high level of luxury by using high quality materials, they were treated very simply so as not to appear too opulent. All the work that followed was then linked to the craftsmanship that is so typically Italian. Lancia is undoubtedly innovation and it has always been a sign of the very latest developments in the car industry. So the Lancia Thesis definitely combines imagination, craftsmanship and dexterity. These are elements with which it has been possible to reinterpret the Lancia code thanks to a DNA that sets the brand apart from all the others. The Lancia Thesis is not an object to show off, but it's certainly an object of class. The Lancia Thesis in fact brings back everything that was said about the typical Lancia cars of the 50s. A rich car, a great car, which is full of features. The great thing about the Thesis project is that on one hand it has been for all intents and purposes a research process to identify and define what constitutes elegance in the year 2000 and on the other to understand how vintage cars arouse certain feelings. All of this enabled us to recreate a welcoming and warm environment, a real living room that gives a sensation of well-being and provides us with great comfort. I have tried to give this design a slightly different approach. I believe that the project must be born out of the simultaneous endeavours of those working on the shape and those working on the materials. The material must bring together and stimulate the planning process as in other industries, in architecture at the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, or in fashion, a garment by Ise Miyake. We have used materials that are as natural as possible. The thesis contains wool, real leather, wood, aluminium and magnesium. We have tried to ensure cohesion for the senses in such a way that the tactile, acoustic and visual sensations harmonize with each other. Thesis is a unique car because craftsmanship is an integral part of the industrial process. The upholstery is hand-stitched, the wood is veneered, the metal is die-cast. In the thesis we have a range of dark colors. With the action of the mica, these colors give beautiful reflections when struck by the light. It is as though the car lights up from within. In addition to these reflections, they echo the colors of the middle of the range, which are neither too light nor too dark. They are colors that give a sensation of well-being. I would define them as sober and well-balanced. One of the most important factors in designing the thesis was undoubtedly the historical research that was undertaken. Being a launcher, it was essential to go back and take another look at what the elements of the launcher tradition were. For this reason, we made several visits to the launcher museum and examined the available materials in order to find elements that could be reinterpreted in a modern way. By recreating the traditional elements, we tried to give the thesis a strong personality. We did this by isolating very characteristic features, particularly concentrating on the front of the car. One of these features is the radiator grille, which is a reproduction of the grilles of the 50s and 60s. But it's been completely brought up to date, making it much more modern than ever before. The thesis can be defined as a provocative car because it brings back shapes that we are no longer used to seeing. Without a doubt, one of these is the considerable distance from the front of the bumper to the nose of the bonnet. The shapes and elements that give the thesis its overall form enable us not only to analyze it from a visual point of view, but also from a tactile aspect. The comfort of the thesis's shape is communicated through its harmonious curves. In fact, 
The car's design incorporates curves which have been ordered into a precise pattern. From the front section to the tail of the car, as well as specific items such as the lighting clusters and the radiator grille. They are all closed designs and for this reason communicate a certain calm, a certain unflustered nature. I'm a bit like a trainer and a player. Trainer because I'm responsible for making many champions play and player because even though I have a field full of Beckhams, I sometimes have to throw myself into the fray and play as well, something I love doing. This role is generally known as that of the project manager. The Thesis started from a rib of the Dialogos, a prototype presented at the Turin Motor Show where it was extremely successful. Our aim and mission was to create something we had only dreamed about at a prototype stage. The team I work with has Lancia's history in its DNA and for this reason was able to put its whole heart into the task. We have combined elegance and innovation, workmanship and technology, prestige and sensitivity. From all this the Thesis was born. And life on board provides the utmost pleasure. For example, the air conditioning system distributes the air very evenly, surrounding the client with extreme comfort. The electronic parking brake is, amongst other things, the very first of its kind in the world and it works automatically without the buyer even having to think about it.